Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. So we are doing pretty well, we currently have £235,000, Chance has 131, and we are currently in the process of getting our massive new field cultivated and drilled. But of course before we can do that we do need to get rid of the trees because they're going to be a bit of a problem for the worker when drilling and when harvesting. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick test to see if this massive stump grinder fits this tractor. Um, it does. Okay, well that makes it easier because it means we can actually keep the drill on the other tractor. But yeah, really, we need to just temporarily take the cultivator off this tractor because we need to um, put the winch on to pull these trees to the sawmill to get them processed. So I will just head up here. Just so we're not wasting time, we might as well cultivate on the way up. And then, yeah, we need to fell them, attach them to the winch, and drag them to the trigger so they can be turned into planks for selling. And I'm probably going to keep the trees which are around the rock over there. I know you can get rid of the rock, but it is against the rules to get rid of the rock. There is a signpost near the store which you can... You either click on it or you cut it down or something, and it will remove all rocks on the map. That is prohibited on this series, and we are not doing that. So the rock remains, and so can the trees around it. We'll just have a bit of an island. They're not causing a problem. It's trees like those, well, two over there, the shrub in the middle, and those two there. They are not wanted. But otherwise, yeah, cultivation work is not going to take much longer. This is my primary focus today, getting this field done. Um, I don't know if we ha actually, we probably do have another field to harvest over there, but yeah, that can wait for the time being because I need to get this field growing. It's essential that we get it done. Um, so yeah, let me just take off the cultivator at the end. Whilst we're still moving. And we'll get the winch attached. And then whatever stumps we have left, we can just very quickly remove with the Massey Ferguson. If it can run the PTO, which you should be able to. I'll leave a bit of uh, a stump so we can actually see where it is. Right, that's those two, so yeah, it looks like you can actually tow more than two trees at a time, but obviously we only have two just here, so we might as well just do two. And we want to connect to another one, but I think it needs to be... Actually, these are light enough to just lift them. Yeah, we can just lift them if we want to, but as we're already in the process of attaching, we'll tow them. be easier to tow the ones which are further away. Okay. I have no idea how much that was, but really I'm just trying to dispose of them and anything we get from them is a bonus. These looks to be a bit bigger. Are they still light enough to pick up by hand? They are. That means they're very, very light trees. Just to be able to lift them by hand without super strength. Now, where are they? <laughs> uh, hard to see. I haven't stripped off any of the branches, obviously. There we go. So, yeah, they can stay over there, like I said. And oh, we actually do have probably two more over there, which we'll bring back. But then otherwise we're on to cultivation work and drilling. The worker needs to do the drilling, but really I want to do a couple of laps of the headland first to make it as easy as possible. Oh yeah, we must have quite a few pallets of planks as well ready. Yeah, I've actually parked in the trigger, so that's not very helpful. Whoops. Getting a bit overexcited there. Okay. And yeah, it's not in the way, but I'm going to get rid of it. Because we can make the most of it. It's not going to be wasted. So attach to that. And attach to that. 
I'm going to now remove those stumps and then I think I will just do a bit more cultivation work so we have more space to go around the headland. Maybe this time I'll pay attention to how much we're actually getting from these trees. It can't be much. They do power slide quite well. Um, 3,206. 3,710. So it, it's not very much at all. There may well be more stumps in this field from previous occasions. But I'm currently just targeting the few that I've just done. Did that take it right to the ground? That was very simple. Wow. <laughs> there is nothing of them. Uh, and now for this one over here somewhere. There we go. Nice. Oh, it doesn't have the power to move when it's switched on. Interesting. So I've got to switch it off, and then switch it back on again. Yeah, that works. Ah, have I got stuck on another stuff? I have! That, I'm sure, was from a previous occasion. Well, it's in there somewhere. And finally... Yeah, I think we're going to discover more. There must have been more. So we'll just continue on our way for a little while and we'll see if we can discover any. And of course I'll have to come back and get this little patch of brush where we had those trees previously. progress is good but most importantly we do have the drill going now with fertilizer and seed and we are putting in sorghum I'm gonna have to stump grind the big stump that we've just produced by cutting that tree down uh, but let me just get this piece over here okay looks like the worker is turning there for some reason it's probably a stump see I can't see these stumps but the worker will see them so I'll have to go and investigate. Let's have a look. It's likely just in front of where it stopped. Because to the worker it must be like a tree being there. Ah yes. Indeed, in fact we have two don't we? There's one there and there's one here. I didn't get stuck on them because they're, they're cut so low, but obviously the worker is having none of that. So, let's just lower this on here. Oh, it does help if I <laughs> move the right way. It's nothing of a thing, it, it takes literally no grinding, it just vanishes. 
but they do have to go because we do not want the worker getting confused over nothing. Okay, let's move this tractor out of the way because otherwise it's going to stop it again. And we're going to do the big one. If I see the worker missing any more areas than I know there is another tree. And I was hoping that I could actually just drive over that. But no, it is sitting pretty low, this. Really not designed for this tractor. I'm just impressed that it can do it. Obviously, it can't move whilst it's engaged, but it can actually power it, and it can remove stumps, which frees up another tractor. There we go. So, uh, yeah, we'll just move this out of the way. I'm not too sure if we need it again. We probably will do. I find it hard to believe that's all the stumps. Just parked it here. The silage is ready. We're basically just waiting for the best price, uh, which is coming up in January, so not yet. It's not bad though, even at the moment. Right, so in this last little time lapse for the time being, we will clear all this grass, we'll get it all cultivated up, and then it will be just down to the worker to make sure it drills the field nicely with our lovely sorghum. Looking good. The worker is still going. Yep, it's doing very well. Uh, so really, I think we just have to leave it to it, but I do need to make sure it's got enough seed. There is actually another seed bag in the shed. So yeah, when it needs it, we can just bring that over to it. But I think now we should probably take a look at the flower greenhouse, because I know for a fact that it's stopped production. I should have actually done this first before we did anything else. Um, yes, because of the amount of pallets that have spawned, it has stopped the production because it's blocking the spawn area. So uh, yeah, I need to make a point of just basically sliding these out of the way at the beginning of every episode. They probably should be uh, loaded up. It depends if I want to keep them until the price at its best, but I don't really, I don't think. Just, just selling them ourselves is helpful. Uh, it gives us a bonus. Let's just see here. Flowers, yeah, it's a pretty bad time. <laughs> Although there isn't really a super bad time because the bottom is still 3,200 and it only peaks at 3,800. And it's 3,369 currently, so yeah, it's not bad. Uh, so I think we will just sell them straight away. We'll also do the planks. Uh, so we need to go and get the flatbed trailer. Actually, we'll pick up the flowers second. We'll do the planks first. The important thing is that that drill just keeps going. It has to keep going. Unless it discovers a stump, there is not really anything to stop it. Except for running out of seed or fertiliser, of course. But it shouldn't be close to that yet. Right, I might need to back out of here. Oh, I guess that cultivator there should be sold as well, because that is now just depreciating. Um, and that field there needs to be drilled, but that can be direct drilled. It doesn't actually need to be cultivated first. So let's load up what's probably going to be about eight pallets of planks, maybe even more. It does do well.
that's it. Not bad. I uh, haven't counted, but it looks like about 12, is it? It's pretty good. Fifteen, wow. So we're going to put the flower pallets on the back and then we'll get another massive load of money in. The greenhouses are doing okay for water currently. It probably is still worth topping it up just to guarantee that it won't run out. These booster tanks, they don't want to run out when we sleep. Otherwise we're losing potential money. I can just do these in a single layer because it's the only thing going on. Okay, and this is the final pallet of flowers. No more have spawned. I might have actually picked up one which has spawned since. So, 8,000 litres of flowers. This is going to be good. Very good. I think we're going to be quite comfortably into the 300,000s. And some people said I was doing badly. Here we go. Wow, 87,625. Very, very nice indeed. So do we need to backload? I, it's, it's a good idea to backload. Obviously very efficient that way. We do have a bag, uh, which would be good to take back. It was actually suggested by a lot of people uh, that the dealership should have a forklift that we can both use. Uh, it's not actually in this map as standard. I don't actually know how you would do it. So, that, Well, I guess you could just have two forklifts, one belonging to each farm. Um, and then deduct the amount that it costs off the bank account. It's probably going to get a bit complicated. I love the idea, but obviously we don't have a forklift here, so I think the dealership on this series will just have to not have a forklift. Uh, but yeah, I, I love your suggestions. Um, I, I agree. I think we should have one, but I just don't know exactly how to do it. Oh no, the drill has stopped. So it was actually, oh wow, it's fertilizer that it's run out of. Well, we need to get the seed. Actually, I might buy another seed as well. We do have a seed bag in the shed, but we're probably going to need more than what we can actually just buy now, so uh, it's probably good to keep that in the shed as a backup. So let's go and buy fertilizer and seed. So I've just put that fertilizer bag in. That's easy enough. Um, we won't be able to get all of this in, but again, we'll get a huge chunk of it in. There we go. And... Finally, the seeds. There we go. So, I suppose the other thing I could do is just buy a cheap forklift and keep it here for myself. Chainsaw wouldn't be able to use it. He could do the same thing if he wants. That would work. That, that actually would be the sort of thing that you could buy in a sale. I am saving up for a combine, although we can probably afford a combine now. We're doing quite well. And we do have the resale value from our combine. Maybe we should put a few more arrows on it yet and then just upgrade soon? Dunno. Dunno. No, we might buy the combine next, I think. Um, it will really speed things up. But let's get this on its way in the field. I have started it from this end. It might be a bit of a mistake because it hasn't finished the top end, but anyway. Um, yes. So, really, we are in a situation where I just don't know if we should buy a new combine now, or if we should... What should we do? What shall we do? I always get... So, uh, well, no, we'll do the water. We'll do the water. That would be a good idea. I'm not trying to put off harvesting that field, because I know the price is still quite good for slow beans, but... Uh, I want to make sure I get the right combine. I don't want to buy the wrong one, because I think probably the next one that we buy is going to be the one which we keep maybe forever? Well, I'll never say forever, I suppose, because we're going to keep expanding. Um, but it's going to be one which we keep for a long time. Hmm. I regret <laughs> going in reverse. That's quite slow. Well, I was uh, convinced to move the water tank, so I did do, so we don't have far to go. Empty what we have in here. There we go, I think. Just lagging. 
lagging to zero, as it does. As for farm tracks, I'm not putting them in just yet because I don't know exactly where my fill boundaries are going to be. I might join some fills together. If it was free to put in a farm track, I would just put farm tracks in, but they do cost us money. Whilst that takes forever to fill, we'll go and get the seed bag. I do actually need to open the valve again. It only does 53% or roughly 53, 50, well, roughly 50 uh, before the valve closes again. It's usually 53 for whatever reason. I guess it's just my timing from opening the valve to pressing R to refill. The valve was probably no, not not yet. This can just be positioned somewhere over here. It looks like it's quite empty. Um, yeah, it is. So that's not going to go very far at all. It is fifty-three percent again. That's amazing. So this next valve opening will fill it to the top. But I probably will actually go to the store and bring back some bags. This is a nice, speedy forklift. It can do 26 miles per hour, which is you know, tractor speed. And uh, yeah, that makes it easy for me to use it for bringing stuff back. Chainsaw still only has two plots, so we're both level. And actually, my field area is now larger than chainsaws. We're going to get sheep. I did say a long time ago we were going to get sheep, but I've actually decided that I'm probably going to put sheep on plot 3. Because I've turned all of this into a, an arable field. We will bring back 4. I think this forklift is capable. It's actually a really heavy forklift. Well, I've made a mess of that, that's for sure. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, we're, we're going to be buying... Another fertilizer and another seed, I guess. That's going to be oh, that's going to be fine. I will get these sorted out and try and upright that one. Well, I got them back. They can stay on the times because we will likely be taking them to the drill very soon. Uh, that is 100%, even though it's showing 99 for whatever reason. So let us empty. Let us fill these tanks. Yeah, they're actually really small tanks, but they are amazing how much it's amazing how much they can hold. It should keep going for a while. These are the key to our success. And I'm not buying a combine in the sale. Definitely not. Too expensive to repair. Requires more, more repair work further down the line. We do need to change the shape of this field, or at least the uh, field boundary. Are we full? I think, yeah we are. We are full. Good. We've got loads left for next time. So how is this doing? This is doing fine as well. It's all looking brilliant. Um, yeah, really, I, I can't put it off any longer, I don't think. We are going to have to start the harvest, which is fine. Definitely fine. Uh, this combine needs to be refueled, so we'll do a bit. But we are getting close to the end of the video, so maybe if I just do a lap of the field, do the headland, it should be good. Oh look, we've got two more pallets of planks already, and a wood chip pallet. Although I don't think there's much money in the wood chips. We're going to get a serious amount of money when we sell the silage. And as I said, we're not actually going out, we're not, we're not setting out to do silage. We only have silage because it would have been a waste to just cultivate up the field in front of us. So I cut it first, produced silage, then cultivated it, and then we have Lots of lovely, expensive silage to sell. 
whereas on the previous series, on Renabu, yeah, it was just basically uh, intentionally doing back-to-back -back silage because it was the way to win. Although I didn't do it back-to-back -back and I didn't win. nearing completion we need to get over to the store as quickly as possible because uh, we are about to run out of diesel but what we'll do is we'll just sell directly into the pit and then we can sell and as for money required for the next combine if we don't quite have enough we will do by the beginning of the next episode because obviously we'll have made more money from the uh, greenhouses and yeah if we're still short which is highly unlikely we can just sell some more planks at the beginning of the next episode. So, uh, yeah, it's all good. Or we could sell some silage. We, we've got loads to sell. So, let's go and sell. <laughs> That's a lot of selling. 3,540 litres of soybeans. That should give us quite a bit. The price is quite good. And the price will still be good in October when we sell the rest of it. But which combine should we go with? I, I'm always tempted by the class combines. I just think that they are superior, but at the same time they are quite expensive. Although, yeah, these are super expensive too. I probably will be aiming for that. Quite a, quite an upgrade from this, and we will of course have to make quite a lot more money to be able to buy that one. But it's not out of reach. It is possible. If we if we do a load of shuttling with the silage, we can make a load of money there. We are we're going to get quite a bit back for this, I think. Yeah, it's better than I thought. I thought it was going to be like eight thousand. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's uh, three five seven seven nine nine. A good place to finish. And yep. Yeah, I, I think I will be really targeting this. It's basically £5,000 before you start with the header. We won't need a header trailer. I know it's optimistic. We would need about £590,000. Um, but yes, it's not... I don't think it is out of reach at all. I think if we really did go for it, we could we could buy that. And then we, we never would have to replace the combine. Just a one-off purchase. Um, why have you stopped? Oh, whoops. Well, that's a good time to actually uh, get rid of that bag. Oh, no way, it didn't fit. Wow. Well, it's dedicated server that we're on here, so as soon as the final player leaves, the server will automatically pause. Uh, I don't think Chainsaw's left yet, so we'll just leave this going, and yeah, when he leaves, this tractor will stop on its own. See how far it gets when we get to the next episode. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.